Technology Dragon. My name is Martha and this is one of my favorite times of the year um, and also busiest, right? Halloween is right around the corner. Uh, Kara just had her birthday on the 21st. She is 17 years old. Yes, my baby is 17. Whew. She still holds it against me to this day that she wasn't born on the 31st. I can't help that. Sorry. She will get over it eventually, right? Okay, yeah. Maybe not, but oh well, it's too late now. So today our recipe is a little bit scary uh, for some people maybe. I'm actually doing salad. I know. <sighs> Gluten-free and allergy friendly and you're gonna give me a salad. I know, but there's a reason. It's a fall festival salad. Come on now. We're all busy running around getting the going to the fall festivals, making sure everybody has safe treats to eat. We need to nourish our bodies as well. So stay tuned because that's what we're gonna get ready to do. And before I get to the recipe, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell that way you'll get more content from me and stay tuned to the end of the video because I have a very special trick-or-treater coming. So down in the description below, I will have a link to allergydragon.com, which will have the full recipe and all the substitutions I talk about in the video as well. Remember, you can be allergic to anything and I try to cover as many bases as I can. For this salad, I honestly need one pound of greens. I use, I'm using baby spinach today. You can use kale and mustard greens or the three that I actually recommend for this salad because it has more of a fall bite and crunch to it. Um, preferably, I actually mix all three, but I don't have those available today. Then we have got two cups of cooked diced pumpkin. Yes, pumpkin. And it is salt and peppered and olive oiled just baked. You can, if you do not like pumpkin, you can use like butternut squash. That is a good change out for this recipe as well. Okay, so the next thing I'm using for the salad is I'm using four tablespoons of feta cheese. Now, we don't have a problem with uh, dairy allergies, so I do recommend if you do have a dairy allergy, to use like the Parmesan or another cheese substitute that you find that has a bite to it that you would like. So something that a little bit bitter. So like the Parmesan works really well. I've used that before as a vegan substitute for vegans or because of the food allergy as well. So the next thing is you want a dried fruit, preferably something kind of fall inspired. I'm using figs. You can use dates. You could use cranberries are awesome in this. I, actually, when I used to make it originally, I used cranberries in here. But my daughter is allergic to cranberries, so we use figs. And like I said, this is a recipe that you can change out. The next thing we need for our salad, it's completely optional. And that is a nut of some sort or a seed. Now, I prefer when I first made this recipe, I was putting pecans in here. Unfortunately, Kara is anaphylactic to tree nuts, so we don't keep any tree nuts here in the house. I know many of you will like that as well. Comment down below if you happen to have, be allergic to tree nuts and what you would use in place of that. Um, we're actually using pumpkin seeds because it came with the pumpkin, Kara doesn't have a problem with it, roasted it all off, two for one, boom, I'm done. Uh, but you could use sesame seeds, you can use chia seeds, you can use hip seeds, whatever you're not allergic to. I really like the texture in there, okay? And you just need as much as you like preferentially. I usually use a couple tablespoons, okay? Now for the dressing. Dressing is super simple here. So what I go on a rule base is one to two, one parts to two parts. So one part honey. And in this is two tablespoons, okay? And then the two parts is my balsamic vinegar, which is about a fourth of a cup, which is four tablespoons, okay? We're gonna start making our salad right now, and um, we're gonna start with the salad dressing. Super simple, super quick. I have my little whisk, okay? And I'm gonna take the honey, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the balsamic vinegar in here. And I'm just gonna whisk it around. My honey, make sure your honey it happens to be actually, you know, room temperature. Because if it's cold, some people do store it in the refrigerator. Um, it won't whisk up, so that won't be very good. Okay, super easy. I'm going to go ahead and put that right over here out of the way. Okay. Now, normally I would go ahead and take a bowl and I would mix everything up. But you know what? Nobody else is eating this with me. I think they're all pretty, you know, not going to eat. All of these people hanging out with me here. So I'm just making myself a little, you know, salad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my spinach in here. Now you can put as much, normally I would, like I said, I'd put a whole entire bowl and just mix everything up and I would, you know, just make sure the dressing was in there. I like a lot of pumpkin in it, so I'm putting quite a bit of pumpkin in it. I'm not as big of a fan of the, a lot of cheese, okay? So I'm just putting a little bit of cheese. Okay, now I really like a lot of figs in mine and I just cut them into fours. So I'm, I'm putting four figs in here and I usually put more, but that's a good thing. You can just make it to your taste, you know, however you feel about it. Now I am not gonna put the pumpkin seeds in here because I actually don't like the pumpkin seeds in here, okay? I'm not a big pumpkin seed fan. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the dressing. Let's get a little bit, and then I'm just gonna pour some on top. And I don't like too much, okay? Now hopefully we can see the prettiness that is the salad. I'm like, doesn't that look good? Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully that is a really good shot. Sometimes it's hard doing this by myself. Okay, and just let me get a bite with everything on there. Mmm. Mmm. Pumpkin is not too crunchy, but not too mushy either. Mmm. Mmm. It's good, it's sweet, it's tart, and tangy. Well, that about wraps it up for our fall festival salad. And I hope I didn't traumatize anybody by using pumpkin in a non-traditional pumpkin spice way, okay? Um, so, everybody okay? Let me know if I traumatized you all. If it was too scary, let me know, okay? We're here for each other. Okay, I hope this recipe helps you tame your allergy dragon. Go ahead and hit like if you like this video. Subscribe and ring the bell. That way you get more content from me. Follow me on my social media. Links are down below. And I will see you. Bye! Oh! Soon. Ah! Say hi, Nazir. Say hi. Hi. Happy Halloween. Say happy Halloween. <gasps> Ooh. You look like my dragon. Look. You see her dragon? She look like my dragon. She dragon. And he said it. Dragon. Dragon. Ah. You gonna put it in your bucket? Ooh. Good job. Oh. Have a happy and safe Halloween from Allergy Dragon! Dragon.